The first position we will start with is hook lying position. Hook lying is a very stable position because we have a very large base of support and the center of gravity is only minimally elevated above the ground. In this position, the hips and knees are flexed 60 degrees and uh, there is weight bearing on the uh, feet and um, we could uh, vary the base of support in this position by changing the position of the upper extremities. So for patients who need large amount of support, we could have them place their hands to their side and increase the angle of shoulder abduction to increase the base of support or decrease it as stability progresses. Later on, we could change the position by having the patient fold their hands across their chest or we could even have them uh, clasp both hands and the shoulder flexion for the uh, smallest uh, change in base of support from the upper extremities. Okay, you could fold them across their shoulder, their chest. Okay, um, in terms of the lower limbs, advancing the position can be done by uh, moving the uh, feet further away from the body. This will increase the demands on the hamstrings to control the position of the limb. We, um, we could use this position for different uh, exercises and the major aim of this position is to control the position of the lower extremities and this is um, depending on the abductors and abductors of both sides. That's why we always maintain distance between the knees. We don't have the patients uh, leaning knees against each other. And this can be done by, for example, patients with stroke who will have one sound extremity and then lean with the affected side on the sound side. So we always maintain a distance between the knees. Um, and uh, for further exercises we could uh, use later, we could, for example, place a small ball between the knees and ask the patient to squeeze your knees against the wall or for example against my hand here and this is focusing on abductors both sides or we could do the other way where we could place an elastic band or both hands on both sides of the knees and ask the patient to abduct both legs okay. and relax. This is in terms of the hook line position and one other important point is that for patients who have um, hyperchronia in uh, lower limb extensors, sometimes having weight against the uh, sole of the foot will increase the extensor tone and uh, will cause them to extend the leg. That's why in order to prevent this from happening, we could have the patient in hook line position and place a small roll or towel under the toes to lift the weight from the sole of the foot and reduce the effect of uh, spasticity. Okay. 